Welcome back with another hot topic that's been making waves across the nation. Today, we're diving deep into the Biden administration's promise to deliver a much-needed financial boost to millions of Americans struggling to make ends meet. That's right, we're talking about those sweet, sweet $5,500 payments headed to those receiving Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VIA benefits. Get ready, because this video is about to be packed with all the juicy details you need to know. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and fourth stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSI, SSDI and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room, the skyrocketing cost of living that's been hitting fixed income households harder than a ton of bricks. We're talking about seniors, people with disabilities, and veterans who've been barely scraping by as their monthly benefits failed to keep up with the rapid rise in prices for essentials like food, housing, utilities, and healthcare. It's been a real nightmare, fam, with folks having to make impossible choices between keeping the lights on or putting food on the table. But fear not, my friends, because Uncle Joe and the gang have swooped in with a much-needed lifeline. After years of stagnant cost-of-living adjustments, or COLAs, that just couldn't cut it, the Biden administration has authorized a one-time emergency enhanced payment of up to $5,500 to help offset the impacts of inflation and rising costs on fixed-income households. Talk about a game-changer! Now, let's break it down who exactly qualifies for these payments and how much can you expect to receive. Well, get ready, because it's about to get real. If you're a Social Security Retirement, Survivors, or Disability Insurance, SSDI recipient, and you're single, you'll be receiving a sweet $4,400 payment. But if you're part of a married couple filing jointly, you and your boo are about to get a combined $5,500. For those of you receiving Supplemental Security Income, SSI, the deal is similar single filers will get $4,400 while couples will receive a combined $5,500. Not too shabby, right? And let's not forget our brave veterans. If you're receiving VIA disability compensation or a pension, and you're a single veteran, you'll be getting $4,400. But if you've got a spouse or dependent child, that payment jumps up to $5,500. It's the least we can do for those who've served our country, am I right? Now. You might be wondering, but wait, why are these enhanced payments so crucial? Well, let me break it down for you. Over the past couple of years, consumer prices have been rising at the fastest pace in 40 years, with the costs of groceries, rent, utilities, and medical care skyrocketing upwards of 9% per year. For seniors and people with disabilities who rely primarily on monthly Social Security checks or other fixed benefits, their buying power has been absolutely devastated. You see, the annual cost of living adjustments applied to these benefits are calculated based on inflation from two years prior. So, the COLA increases for 2022 and 2023 of 5.9% and 8.7% respectively were laughably inadequate compared to the actual inflation rates during those years. When you're talking about an average Social Security retirement benefit of only around $1,600 per month, even seemingly low inflation of, say, 6% per year can create massive hardship for those on fixed income. That's why these one-time enhanced payments are so crucial, fam. They're designed to provide some urgently needed relief and help pull millions of hardworking Americans out of poverty. As President Biden himself said, it's the right thing to do when Americans are facing immense financial strain through no fault of their own. But wait, there's more. Let's talk about when you can expect to actually receive this money if you're an eligible beneficiary. According to the Biden administration officials, the timeline looks a little something like this. For Social Security recipients, payments will begin going out the first week of June 2023 via the same method you normally receive your benefits, like direct deposit or paper check. For SSI recipients, payments will start being issued in late June 2023 
and continue through early July, arriving through the normal SSI payment channels. And for our veteran fam, the payments are scheduled to be sent out over the course of July 2023 via the same delivery methods as your regular VIA compensation or pension payments. The goal, according to Biden, is to get all these enhanced payments distributed by the end of July 2023 at the absolute latest. And here's the best part, no additional applications or paperwork is required. The payment should arrive automatically if you're an active program beneficiary. It's that easy, fam. Of course, with any program of this magnitude, costing tens of billions of dollars, there's bound to be some political debate and partisan criticism, mostly from those conservative detractors who are opposed to further deficit spending they argue that these emergency payments are nothing more than an improperly targeted band-aid that won't provide long-term financial relief. Their solution? Curbing inflation itself through interest rate hikes and stricter fiscal policies instead of dispersing more federal cash. There are also concerns about potential abuse of the system by bad actors trying to improperly claim these enhanced payments. But the Biden administration has reassured everyone that there are rigorous auditing mechanisms and stiff penalties in place to prevent widespread fraud and abuse. Conservatives also claim that these enhanced payments create even greater disincentives for able-bodied, working-age adults to find jobs and achieve self-sufficiency, compounding the drain on federal disability and welfare programs. But supporters counter that most SSI and disability recipients already face extreme barriers to employment and temporarily boosting the incomes of society's most vulnerable to keep up with soaring costs is the moral and ethical path forward. Especially since the federal government's loose pandemic spending is what fueled inflation in the first place. Regardless of the political debates, the harsh reality is that millions of Americans receiving Social Security and other benefits were facing immense economic hardship. So for many, this one-time cash infusion will provide some urgently needed breathing room, at least in the short term. A $4,500 to $5,500 bump in income for the year could be enough for seniors or those on disability to cover several months of rent, utilities, prescription drugs, and other critical expenses. It's a significant amount of money for people living at or below the poverty line. But here's the thing, fam, while these enhanced payments will provide temporary relief, many advocates are already arguing that they don't go nearly far enough towards providing full, lasting relief. Once this temporary aid runs out, millions could easily find themselves in the exact same precarious situation a year from now if monthly benefits don't keep pace with inflation. That's why there are growing calls for Biden to follow up the one-time payment program with a permanent revamp of how the Social Security Cost of Living Adjustments, COLAs, are calculated. Some propose basing future COLAs on current, real-time inflation data instead of numbers that are a couple of years outdated. Only then will fixed-income households truly be able to keep their heads above water as living expenses continue climbing. Many policy experts argue that updating the antiquated formula for calculating annual Social Security COLAs should be the top priority. The current COLA methodology, based on inflation data from two years prior, has proven woefully inadequate during periods of rapid price increases like the nation has experienced recently. By the time COLA bumps actually take effect each year, the real buying power of Social Security checks has already been severely eroded by elevated inflation over the previous 24 months. So, there you have it, fam. The Biden administration's one-time enhanced payments of up to $5,500 for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VIA benefits recipients are a much-needed lifeline for millions of Americans struggling to keep up with the rising cost of living. But while this temporary aid is a step in the right direction, more systemic changes are likely needed to truly address the long-term affordability crisis facing seniors and the disabled on fixed incomes. But wait, there's more. Let's dive a little deeper into the potential impact of these one-time enhanced payments and what they could mean for the millions of Americans who will be receiving them. For starters, let's talk about the sheer number of people this will affect. 
We're looking at around 60 million recipients across Social Security, SSISSDI, and VIA benefits programs. That's a massive chunk of the population, fam. And for many of these folks, this extra cash could be a total game changer. Imagine being a senior citizen living solely off a monthly Social Security check of, say, $1,400. Even with the recent COLA increases, that's barely enough to cover basic expenses, like rent, groceries, and medications. But then you get that sweet $4,400 or $5,500 payment dropped into your account? That's like winning the lottery, baby. Suddenly, you've got a little breathing room, a chance to catch up on those past due bills, or maybe even treat yourself to something nice for once. Or what about a disabled individual receiving SSDI benefits? For too many of these folks, every penny counts, and they've been forced to make impossible choices between paying for life-sustaining treatments or keeping a roof over their heads. If you find this video valuable, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss an updates all things related stimulus.